welcome back to my channel uh if you're new here my name is tanisha this is totally tanisha this is a youtube channel that focuses on everything about life experiences and just sharing them with you guys so if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and watching another video so in today's video if you've read the title of this video you know that we are going to disney world oh my goodness i'm so happy to be going to disney world y'all we are two weeks away from when we go so we go the week of new year's so we'll be there new year's eve we'll be there new year's and a couple days leading up to new year's eve so i'm just so 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 excited um i have been to disney world when i was very little probably two or three uh, i don't remember anything so for me this will truly be my first time going to disney world um uh, warren's never been in his life so this is gonna be like the most greatest trip we're gonna be there for seven days and six nights i'm gonna try to make this video really really quick i know i haven't been posting i've been so off um but an update video is coming soon vlogs are coming back soon so just bear with me bear with us um but yeah so we are going to disney world now mind you for our honeymoon we went to disney springs we honeymooned in tampa florida so we took an hour and 30 minute drive to Orlando to visit Disney Springs because I really wanted to go. I have never been to Disney Springs before that. And so I really, really enjoyed it. Warren really, really enjoyed it. I wish we would have vlogged it, but I wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. So yeah. But anyway, I've already told you guys the dates. I already told you it's our first time. We will be vlogging every step of the way. So after this video will come a pack with me video. Um, so if you're interested in what, um, in, so if you're interested in seeing me pack um, for Disney World for the very first time, our very first time going to Disney World, especially for the week of New Year's Eve or just in a cold climate in general then please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because that will be coming soon probably within the next week or so so um yeah so we're gonna be vlogging the entire process so it'll be a pack with me video it'll be the day before disney the week of disney video um and just every day that we're gonna be down there so we're gonna be staying off property we're staying at a hotel probably 10 minutes from animal kingdom five minutes from disney springs so we wanted to stay relatively close we didn't want to stay on property for our first time because it's just me and warren and we don't have any kids and on property can just be a little tad bit expensive and for this whole trip seven days six nights we spent less than thirty five hundred dollars so we really wanted to be budget friendly this trip and when we decide to have kids then we'll splurge you know what i'm saying because then it'll be like an exciting thing for us and them and it'll just be worth the money if you know we decided to stay on property when we have when we actually have children so anyway we're going to be staying off property um it's a marriott hotel and i'll explain more after the trip is over and we'll do a room tour and everything else so if, if you got if you guys have any questions about um staying off property and what's the best hotels to go off property i really 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 did my research i plan this trip probably i would say in less than 90 days because I planned it back in October and in October my mind was okay like I had to cancel my trip this is a rescheduled trip from when we were supposed to go in October 2020 and we didn't get a chance to go um and so we never rescheduled and so this is the rescheduled trip <laughs> on a whim pretty much so if you have any questions about staying off property and anything pertaining to that please let me know down in the comments i can do a separate video on the process of how i chose different um properties to like narrow it down to choosing just one um especially when you're talking about distance money um resort amenities and stuff like that um in hindsight i probably should have dug a little deeper because with this resort 
Um, we do have to pay for parking, and that can get a little expensive, especially when you're staying so many days. So I probably should have chosen a resort that included free parking. But again, if you want me to create a video where I go in depth choosing the best budget-friendly hotel that's in close proximity to Disney World and Disney Springs, then let me know, and I will show you guys um, what I did and and what my process was going with that. Now for transportation. Um, we are driving. So we decided to drive because the airplane tickets, given the short amount of time that we planned this trip, the airplane tickets was very expensive because it's around Christmas time. It's around the holidays. And, you know, everybody's like traveling during the holidays. So uh, we thought it best to just drive because of that and also to save money. So um probably gas for us the entire trip i have budgeted every single penny for this trip honey so um gas for the entire trip is probably going to be two to two hundred and fifty dollars um a hundred dollars will get us from alabama to orlando um because i think morning's car is like a hybrid or something i don't know but um a hundred dollars will get us there and then we get you know a hundred dollars for the week because we're not really going anywhere other than the parks and the parks are so close to where we're staying. We're not really burning a lot of gas and then a hundred dollars from Orlando back home. So probably like two fifty, three hundred dollars three hundred Um, we're probably going to spend on gas. Uh, and so that's very cost efficient for what we were trying to accomplish with like staying under $3,500. So we are driving. It's going to be an eight hour and 30 minute drive. Uh, Warren's going to drive half. I'm going to drive half. He's probably going to drive the half to Atlanta because I hate Atlanta traffic. And then I'm going to drive the rest of the way <laughs> because it's just too much. So, um, or he might drive the whole way because he, that's a part of like what he does on a daily. He drives to places. So, um, that's probably what he's going to do. He's probably going to drive the whole way. Who knows? But, um, yes. So driving was definitely more budget friendly. Now, had I had the opportunity to plan a little more, a little bit more in advance, yes, we would have flown because I like the flying experience. It's so much quicker. Um, but we didn't have, well, I wouldn't say we didn't have, but we didn't want to spend the money of buying plane tickets and then also having to rent a car once we get down there so that was just too much um and i didn't want to use the excuse of oh let's stay on property so we can get shuttled or you know whatever it'll be easier staying on property i didn't want to do that you know come up with the excuse because to me it's not worth it um you still paying out more to stay on property than you would if you had your own transportation just in my opinion you know maybe i'm wrong if i'm wrong let me know down in the comments because this is my first time, guys. I'm just giving you guys my first timer experience and my first timer, ex you know, opinions um, based on what I know so far. So if you have experience that stand on property, you know, without a car is more cost efficient than having your own car and flying in and, you know, whatever like that then let me know down in the comments because I would love to take all the tips and advice to give to you all and all the tips and advice to help me for me to show you all that, you know, it's possible. So we are going to each park. We're visiting all four parks during our trip. So we're going to Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. We will be at Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve. I know a lot of people was saying, like, I'm in so many Facebook groups, y'all, just trying to get all the information. Um, but so many people were saying that Magic Kingdom is going to be packed out for New Year's Eve. Um, that really didn't matter to me. Uh, they did like fill up on their park reservation for that day. Um, so I expect it to be packed, but I mean, it's New Year's Eve. Why wouldn't it be? Who want, who doesn't want to see the fireworks over the castle? I mean, really? <laughs> so yeah, we are going there for New Year's Eve. Um, we're hitting up Animal Kingdom first, then Epcot, then Hollywood Studios, then Magic Kingdom. And then we have a rest day. Or like an Explore Orlando day because we've never been to Orlando other than the time where we drove to go to Disney Springs. So yeah, we're very excited. Um, I have a detailed itinerary, y'all. I've been watching so many YouTube videos. I've been watching so many tour plans. 
Shout out to all allears.net. I've been watching, okay? I've been Googling, reading blogs. I'm, I was trying to find, like, the best because we're spending all day in one park. So, like, from the time the park opens to the time the park closes, when we're going to be in there. Now, we're probably going to leave Animal Kingdom a little bit early because they close at 8 o'clock. And it's not really, like, Dino Land. I'm going to give Dino Land a chance, but I just feeling my soul that I'm not gonna want to do anything there so after we have like did everything that we wanted to do we're probably gonna leave um that park early but I don't know because I've never been so we'll see but um I have a detailed itinerary I have genie plus priorities in my mind like what do I want to pick for genie plus and all that stuff um I've been playing with the app getting used to the app seeing what the app is all about how to navigate it because you know if you guys know when you're wanting to do genie plus you have to get up at a certain time you have to buy it at a certain time and you have to pick make your selections you know what i'm saying so i have been very strategic into how i have made my itinerary made my plan and if you guys want me to make a video that goes into the plan that i have made as of right now then please let me know down in the comments. I will let you know like my strategic plan and the explanation behind each decision that I've made for our itinerary for each park. Um, because I've done a ton, a ton of research <laughs> trying to see what ride to go to first. You know, when I wrote drop, where do I need to go? What's the quickest way to get to where? You know what I'm saying? Like I want to make this trip very productive and also as fun as it possibly be i know everything is not gonna go the way that i plan it you know what i'm saying we can plan we can make all the plans in the world but something is gonna go wrong and that's fine we're still gonna enjoy ourselves but if i can help it <laughs> i want to provide us with the best um itinerary and the best you know navigation because we're i mean we walking in blind you know what i'm saying we've never been i've never been to a theme park this big you know what i'm saying i've been to theme parks here in alabama i've been to six flags once before but i've never been to like a theme park this big and it's like i like to be prepared i'm a i mean you know i'm a prepared person you know what i'm saying so that's that but anyway if you want me to go over a detailed itinerary of what we're going to do, um, like I say, Animal Kingdom, um, we're going to Epcot, and then Hollywood Studios, then Magic Kingdom. If you want to know a detailed itinerary of what we're going to do, please let me know. I'm happy to share my strategic plan. Uh, we're going to see if it works when, you know, when, when we're doing the vlog. So if you're interested in seeing if this itinerary works, especially during um the week of new year's eve I'm, I'm i'm pretty sure we're gonna have crowds i'm pretty sure I, baby i'm prepared okay i have accepted all terms and conditions and we're gonna do this thing so if you want to see if my plan is going to work if you want to watch our disney vlogs please hit that subscribe button because i'm i'm telling you i'm bringing the content okay and i want to i want you guys to especially if you're first time disney goers see my experience as a first time disney goer and what worked and what didn't work you know what i'm saying because a lot of the videos that i watched on youtube these are people that have been to disney several times and i've not been to disney at all so you know it's like boom you know everything's gonna be a, a i don't know how to put it everything's gonna be new to me you know so um like i said hit that subscribe button but anyway on to weather um so I've been checking the weather probably once a week, every week up until now. Um, we're going to be in the high 70s early in the mornings. We're going to be in the like 54, 55 range. So what I suggested for me and Warren, and if you're watching this, if you're going the week of New Year's Eve, you could probably take this advice too. I suggest that I don't want to be in a coat. I don't want to be in a hoodie. Because if I get too hot, then the hoodie has to come off. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to have a shirt up under that hoodie. And where I'm going to put the hoodie? I don't want to wear it around my waist. I don't want to put it in my park bag. I just want to be free. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be hands-free. I want to be free. So, what I came up with, we're going to wear sweatshirts. 
We're not going to wear anything under the sweatshirt. At least I'm not. I don't know about wearing. I can't speak for him. But I'm going to wear a sweatshirt. I'm going to wear jeans. And I'm going to wear my park bag. And that's it. Um, I feel like the sweatshirt will be fine even if it gets into the 70s. Because I can roll my sleeves up. Or still may be cool. And even when it drops, when that night comes and it drops into the 50s, excuse me. When that night comes and it drops into the 50s, I'm still going to be warm because I got a sweatshirt on. So it's like, I, you know, I know people have said, you know, wear layers, wear layers, wear uh, shorts and a long sleeve shirt and blah, 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 blah. I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> I, you know, that's not appealing to the eye to me. Like, you know, some people can do that. But coming from Alabama, our weather is so like... It could be snowing Monday, and then it, it could be, like, a tornado Tuesday, and then Wednesday, it could be, like, sunshine and rainbows. Like, you know, <laughs> so I feel like I, I'm prepared to dress for any kind of weather, and I feel like a sweatshirt um, will do me justice. And I also have an Adidas, like, sweatpants suit that I'm going to wear. Not a sweatpants suit, but it's like a jogger set. So I'm going to wear that to Epcot. I can take my jacket off. I can. But I, I feel like on that day, for that particular weather, I'm not going to need to take it off. I'm telling you, look at the weather. Whether you're going to, the week of New Year's Eve or whatever you're going. Look at the weather. Then wherever you are, wherever you live, go out. If it, if it says, go to AkiWeather.com. Because they have a monthly thing. It might not be accurate right now. But at least you'll have kind of like an idea of what's going to be the weather. Um, look and see if, if it says the day you're going to Animal Kingdom, it's going to be 72 degrees. If it's 72 degrees where you live anytime soon, walk outside. See how it's going to feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did. It's like 54 degrees right now. This is how cold it's going to be when we wake up in the morning when we go to Animal Kingdom. Let me put on my sweatshirt. Do I feel warm? Or if I feel cold, do I feel cold enough to like, you know, risk it all? You know what I'm saying? Like to like, to like go and be like, okay, this is all I need and I'm going to be fine. You know what I'm saying? So that is what I recommend. That's what I've been doing. I'm like, okay, it's 68 degrees. This is how it's going to feel when we go to Hollywood Studios. Am I going to be okay with just a sweatshirt? Am I going to be okay with just a shirt and a jacket? Like, you know, that's how I did it. But just a recommendation. Um, on to dining. So we are going to do Disney fast food pretty much our entire trip. Um, majority of our trip. Now, we do have a Planet Hollywood um reservation let me know if you've been to planet hollywood at disney springs let me know how it was because we have time to change our reservations um if it's not good but i've heard great things um let's see what else just to name a few we have a reservation for crystal palace at magic kingdom i'm so happy i was a huge winnie the pooh fan when i was little and i still love winnie the pooh to this day i even have a winnie the pooh sweatshirt that I got from Belk that I'm going to wear when we go to Magic Kingdom. And I have Winnie the Pooh ears. I will let you guys see everything once I do my pack video. Um, but yes, it's going to be so great. So I can't wait to meet them. And I think we haven't decided on... Well, I know we have a reservation for the Edison when we come in on our arrival day. But we haven't decided like if we're gonna keep that reservation if we're not it's just we have so many places we want to try and when i say we i say me <laughs> i mean me so <laughs> um it's just i have to pick and choose like what i don't know dining is the hardest thing hardest thing let me um tell you though if you don't because see 60 days out came and went and i totally forgot that we had to do dining reservations so i was like dang like oh my god like i forgot and so when i went on there because i was trying to get tusker house when we went to animal kingdom and it was gone like it was gone and i was like oh my god like what am i gonna do and so i was researching researching still and people were like oh you know 
it could open up the week that you're there or it could open up the week before you're there. So what I did was once I realized, okay, like I got to be checking periodically to see if a reservation becomes available. So I was checking every other day and you know, stuff became available. So not Tusker house in particular, but, um, it just gave me hope that, you know, every day somebody is canceling and stuff like that. So even if you don't get your, what you want 60 days out, or if you forget like I did and you know, you know, whatever, then you still have hope to get what you want. Some, some people I've seen some people on their videos get, what they want the day of, you know, or they just walk up because people have been canceling and they're just like, oh, okay, yeah, we can accept a party of five, you know what I'm saying? So don't lose hope if you forgot or, you know, didn't get the reservation that you want. But majority of the time when we're throughout the parks, like breakfast, lunch, in the parks, we're going to be eating like at different mobile order places because I feel like that's easier and it's cheaper to be sitting down at a restaurant like Tiffin's. I made a reservation for Tiffin's and I looked at the menu and I was like, oh my God, like this plate is $56. Like what the heck? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. We're going to play in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't know. It's just look at the menu before you sit down and say, oh, I want to go somewhere because you've seen it on somebody's video or you've seen it like on a commercial or I don't know, something. And you're like, oh, I want to go there. But no, make sure you like what's on the menu because you would hate to get there. I would hate to got the Tiffins. And it's like, I don't like nothing on this menu. And then I'm going to have to force myself to pick something and to eat it. And it might be good and it might not. But I, I'm going to feel like I wasted my money. So just a heads up. Um, but like I say, any other first timers? on here please let me know down in the comments if you if this is not your first time and you have any tips or advice for me please let me know down in the comments um but yes my packing video my packing video will be out soon um i'm probably gonna post it within the next week or so um all my mini ears i still have mini ears coming in the mail from amazon um but let me show you my park bag this is my park bag i got it from tj maxx and it was regular oh my god is it gonna focus it was regular $49.99 but I got it for $40 I actually Warren bought it for me but what does it matter anyway um this is my park bag and I love this it says it's like a dream <laughs> I love that but um it has all the Disney princesses on it if you can see it and it's not, it's not a lounge fly, just to clarify. But it has all these, like, zippers, and it has, like, different compartments in the inside. Oh, it's great. And it has zippers, you know, in here. I'm going to take the paper out. Zippers in here. So it's a zipper here, a zipper here, and then it's in here. But um, I'm going to be putting stuff in my park bag closer to time. And I'm also going to be putting stuff, like, I'll also do, like, a park bag video if you guys are interested in that. But um, if nothing else, thank you guys for watching this video so much. I appreciate you and all of your comments and all your advice and all your tips down below. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video from me. I'm bringing all of the Disney content that you can ever think of. Anything that you want me to talk about or share, please list it in the comments below. And I will be happy to make a video and ex do an explanation of my processes for you. Um, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!